Hey there friends, thanks for checking in and welcome to another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. The handgun that I'm featuring today is something that you probably haven't seen for a long time. It's been discontinued, but I really do enjoy it and it's a Magnum Research MR9. It uses a Walther frame and the Magnum Research slide. This is a double action, single action, striker fired handgun, four and a half inch barrel. At the time, they made it also with a four inch barrel, but once the slide is charged, it will go into single action with a four pound trigger pull and a reset right there. I fell in love with the gun. When I first got it, I was amazed by it. When it's in double action, well, I said that wrong. If it has that lever there, you could hit that and it will go from single to double action. Restrike capability. But it's a great shooting handgun with 15 round mags. I know Walther makes the P99, Canik makes their version of this, and Magnum Research once did. I like the way it bevels down to give a, I would say a Magnum Research Desert Eagle look to it. You know, kind of angles in there, much like the full size Desert Eagle. But let's take a few shots and hopefully I can demonstrate why I have enjoyed this gun for years. All right, went a little quick there. <laughs> I feel so comfortable with it. I haven't shot it in a long time. Easy disassemble, nice handgun. Uh, I was bummed when they discontinued it, but I understand why. You know, they're selling a handgun with a Walther frame and they're, they're only cashing in on the slide and the barrel and recoil assembly and everything else. But there it is. Now let's get to that shotgun. The shotgun that I'm featuring is one that I reviewed not long ago. It's the Mossberg 590S. 20 inch barrel, eight plus one, two and three quarter inch. It will accept mini shells, the one and three quarter inch mini shells. It will accept eight of those. And you can alternate a Mossberg, redesign the feed system to reliably feed and fire mini shells in, in the low recoil in the higher capacity, 12 plus one. That is pretty advantageous. But I mentioned a 20 inch barrel. This one has the m lock forend polymer forend ghost ring rear sight ramped up orange insert front sight synthetic stock and a half inch butt pad thumb safety on the receiver nice shotgun they also make this with an eight and a half inch barrel 18 and a half inch barrel and a little less capacity eight plus one two and three quarter i think i have six shells loaded up Let's go ahead and see how it does. And I had five, I believe. I think I had five. But it's a nice looking and shooting shotgun. Happy with it so far. It does have screw and chokes. This model does, the other model does not. But it comes with a cylinder choke installed. I love the modified choke, so I'll be picking one of those up for this shotgun. Now let's get to that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring is one that I very much enjoy and it's the Springfield Armory Hellion. It's a bullpup where they take the action and the magazine, move it backward, take the trigger and the grip, move it forward. Overall length, only 28 and a quarter inches. This is based off of the VHS-2. It's a very nice bullpup, it has ambidextrous controls throughout with the, the safety, the charger, okay, you can move it this way, you can move it this way, charge it however you like. The mag Z release is right behind here, just hit that, pull out the mag, I've got a 20 round mag in there right now. Four prong flash hider, I could go on, M-Lock four end, it's just a phenomenal bullpup rifle made by Springfield Armory called the Hellion. The Optic is a Night Force 1 to 8 by, well, I'll, I'll put some text in there. I can't remember the size of the lens, but it does have uh, integrated flip-up sights, or you could run an Optic, your choice. I'm going to fire just like this so you can check it out, but I am very much impressed with this rifle. 
very smooth. We'll come over here. I like watching the snow move when I hit it. Wow. Love the optic. Love this Hellion Bullpup. There are so many features to it. I could go on. Adjustable stock. Uh, I mentioned ambidextrous controls. QD mounts all over the place. Gas adjustable system right there. Very easy to do if you want to run a can. Already mentioned the flip up sights. It is a very nice bullpup. Now a lot of bullpups, the trigger is really not that good. Kind of heavy. Not with this. I don't know what they did, but they made it really a smooth trigger. And that is the rifle that I'm featuring today, and I could not be more proud to show it off. Check this out. On the way to northern Michigan, I blasted a deer. Huge deer. I didn't see it a chance. I didn't see it. It just jumped out at me, and I blasted it. I posted a picture on my Instagram. A lot of people commented. Very, very friendly, thoughtful comments. Asked if I was okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to have to get this taken care of. A lot of damage. But anyways, I appreciate you watching another video in my series, One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.